everyone, welcome to Rustic Chickadee. My name is Angela and today I'm going to teach you how to make a textured canvas with a gradient look. that you're going to need. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to choose a decent sized canvas. This size is perfect. Uh, it's, it's nice and big. It'll look perfect on the wall once it's done. I uh, see there's a little dent here. Don't worry about that. It's going to be covered up. What you're also going to need is some sort of a texture. Um, what you can use is gesso. Uh, for this one, I'm actually going to use drywall mud. Um, I know like this can kind of crack every once in a while, but if you're careful with it, it works out just fine. Uh, and another thing with this one is it dries a lot faster than gesso. And if you've been following my blog or any of my other stuff, you'll know that I'm not that patient. So this will dry a lot faster. Uh, one, one trick that I've learned to um, help you, I guess, be more patient is to have several projects on the go. As you can see behind me here, I have way too many projects on the go, but it does kind of help me um, stay focused on one task and then I can kind of move on to the next one without being impatient and waiting for things and getting them before they're done. It just wrecks things. Of course, you are going to need something to mix your paint on. You can use whatever you want, just some sort of a clean surface or a dry surface to mix your paint and some paintbrushes. And uh, for this one, I'm going to use three different colors and I'm going to make it go from lighter to darker, as you'll see in the upcoming videos. So you're also going to need something to spread the drywall mud around or the gesso, whatever it is that you would like to use. I stole this from my cake decorating kit. Uh, it's massive. It really just gets the job done. There's of course professional tools on the market that you can use for stuff like this, like these, which are going to be something else that you're going to want to use. Uh, again, you can steal from a cake decorating kit if you have it or use your hands. Really just kind of be creative and do whatever you want. This is your art and, and it's just, it's art. It's subjective. <laughs> kind of like to keep it. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, I, you can choose whether or not to put a finish on this. I did. I used a couple of different 
uh, types of paint. So it had like kind of a dull look and then a shiny and it looks kind of weird. So I did finish it off with some varnish. Um, yeah, if you are going to make one, I want to see it. So send me a message, put it in the comments, whatever you like. Uh, if it's something that you've tried, I'd, I'd like to see it. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.